Today, I wanna to discuss two different breathing patterns that you can use while you're squatting. First one is inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. And the second one is a breath hold, bracing kind of thing. So why would I inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up? So the ideal thing here is if I am doing a longer duration, maybe six or more reps, maybe you could hold your breath for six. But what I am looking for here is I'm looking for metabolic fatigue or I'm expecting metabolic fatigue. So I'm expecting my legs to burn or my butt to burn while I'm doing this stuff. And I need to make sure I'm still delivering oxygen to the muscles throughout this. So this breathing on the inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up does two things. One, it keeps that supply of oxygen in the blood really high so that I can keep um, supplying the blood or supplying the muscles with oxygen and keep me from fatiguing. And two, um, it, it keeps clearing metabolic byproducts out of the muscle. So as that CO2 builds up, as those hydrogen ions build up, we help deal with them a little bit better. But uh, third one, actually, on the fly, uh, we also have this position. And so when I inhale, the, the dome of the diaphragm here in the middle of the body will descend. And at the same time, the pelvic floor diaphragm has to do the same thing. So they both come down at the same time. And so what I can do is I can load those pelvic floor muscles with the inhale and with the squat at the same time. So I teach the body to work in unison. So I inhale, exhale. So again, that's better for longer duration sets. The second method where I'm holding my breath, that bracing, that's really good for testing your strength. So you need to create a lot of pressure here so that you don't buckle when you're squatting. One of the big major parts that people are going to cave when they squat is somewhere in their spine usually. And so what I can do is I can pretend that I have a belt. I can use my abs to use to like make a fake belt, <sighs> create a lot of pressure there, breathe into it and then hold it. And then it's much easier for me to come up for me to produce force, right? because then my my weak point here my midsection isn't so weak so again two methods inhale on the way down exhale on the way up that's good for higher rep stuff for clearing metabolic fatigue and then um, second one is hold your breath and that's good for building strength kind of exercises